as we ended the last uh, plate uh, in showing you the mortarboard or the uh, graduation cap uh, and its reference to Freemasonry and Masonry, uh, let's begin this plate with this quote, ostensible control over the knowable by marketing institutionally accredited science as the only path to true understanding. That institutionally accredited science is the only path to knowledge, meaning that if you're not going to uh, uh, be a scientist and accredited, you have nothing to say that is patently false. There are all kinds of people with knowledge and wisdom in esoteric and academic realms, and uh, they are just discarded. In this case, uh, look at what you are taught in uh, as a main uh, curriculum, which is evolution, the origin of species by means of natural selection, and look at the alternate title, preservation of favored races in the struggle for life, favoring races, and this idea that not all races were created equal. They've now since said that diversity is the way to go, uh, but this gave rise to huge uh, racism uh, and treatment of other racial groups, uh, aborigines and all of this uh, with the um, lower subhuman uh, standard. And look at what they've also done to uh, the disabled and mentally retarded and using uh, studying hu uh, humans as guinea pigs, giving rise to eugenics, and this idea that we have to move uh, evol evolution through uh, the the alteration uh, genetic breeding, eugenics building. Here's the United States, and look at the understanding of what Christians believe. The fact that my mom got a prenatal diagnosis was not wrong. Telling my parents I was not worthy of life was wrong. This is a precious life. Uh, to Christians, every life is precious, and they are worthy and deserving of life. As a matter of fact, the parents that have these types of, of children uh, revere life more, and they love their children. And yes, it's a pain and a struggle, but gosh, the value and the lessons learned in this are invaluable for us, priceless. In this case, uh, look at Stephen Hawking in this ridiculous statement. Because there is a law such as gravity, the universe can and will create itself from nothing. Well, there, if there wasn't a law such as gravity, what would he be saying? But there is a law. And there has never been a law without a lawgiver, a lawmaker. And so they have replaced gravity as uh, with uh, God with gravity. And that uh, creating something out of nothing. Well, our God is is capable of that and has created this space, time, matter uh, situation that we're in. I, as an architect, can appreciate the architecture of the universe and the order and the laws of the universe. Look at how these things are arranged structurally. Look at how DNA is arranged as a language or code. These all require laws and language. And laws and language come from intelligent sources. And this idea that in you know, um, uh, intelligence has not created man, look at the structure of this. It is obvious. This is what they lead us to believe, that we've evolved like this, lost the hair, and then look at this is actually a, a video game, and then this man is fully clothed. And he's a uh, character in a video game. Look at the other alternate uh, evolution here as a monkey and ascending. Um, I'm sorry, this is not true. Adam now was the first man, biblically. You can see the length of years. Uh, over 900 years they lived. You can see that even in the Babylonian uh, kings uh, lived long. So when we see this reference biblically, we can see a uh, world civilization's timeline. And these are very similar as far as the length. So uh, as far as uh, when Adam came to be is about this area, uh, about uh, give or take a thousand years off. But from the rise of civilization to the first man, we can even see that anthropologically that that's the case. Look at the similarities in the legends of cultures around the world. Assyrian all the way to Hawaii and Sumatra. Look at the destruction by water. All of these, nine looks like 95% at least, all black, 
and this is the flood. You can see the ark provided here. The similarities between these legends. Look at the uh, Chinese characters. Let's look at this one. You can pause the screen if you need to. Uh, the devil, garden or field, alive, secret, man or son. So he was in a garden, secret, he's alive, man or son. The tempter, this is interesting. Here's the devil. Here's a tree and a tree, which means they have two trees, which is the tree of knowledge of the good and evil, the tree of life, and covered, under cover. So the devil there, boat and ship, this is uh, striking. Vessel, eight mouths or eight people. This is also people. I showed this pictorial, uh, pictogram or this kanji in Japanese to my wife, and she was astonished with that. This is She was astonished with this as well and the biblical connotation. Create dust and mud alive mouths or uh, uh, people uh, and walking so the person person walking so you have eight mouths over here for the boat but this is a person walking alive out of the dust and mud and that is the creation story in the oldest language uh, uh, that is known to exist uh, now uh, look at the Freemasonic um, uh, diploma you have here Ano Lucis. Let's look at uh, let's look at these ones here. They're all Ano Lucis, by the way. But A L Ano Lucis or the Year of Light. They add 4,000 years to this one would be 1823. Adding 4,000 years would be 5823. So they are referencing the Earth at about 6,000 years old. But their Year of Light is the Year of Intellect. And so this is what they push, and then what they're going to be pushing here, I believe, not too long in the future. Aliens, look at he also has a uh, an Egyptian uh, mask on, but aliens now altering man's uh, DNA, uh, going from ape to human, and you can see all of the uh, logos here. Now moving on with uh, Richard Dawkins, the quintessential atheist, um, now, and the God Delusion, in this movie, Expelled, he actually, uh, this is Ben Stein there, he actually says that the possibility of panspermia, which is that we might find a signature in our DNA that would allude to a fact that uh, we were genetically engineered. You see this in the movie Prometheus as well. So here is an atheist now uh, giving you the possibility that we were uh, genetically seeded on this planet and uh, that is a shock so his god is aliens interesting uh, transhumanism now moving on to the future and this is just an example of where monkeys to robots and so we need to uh, since we don't have enough time anymore and science is advancing we need to advance ourselves with cybernetic technology and this is going on now here is a triple helix designing a new molecule for life. This was actually uh, promoted or uh, or shown in the movie Tron. The woman uh, actually had a triple DNA strand. Just showing you that creation, we have been created. And this is design. It screams design. We've been designed. And so this notion of evolution and not understanding where our origins are, uh, we have a fascinating past. If we were to believe that the, all, everything in the past is all myth with everything that they've done uh, anthropologically that you can see on uh, uh, tombstones in Egypt and uh, all of that hieroglyphic uh, uh, depictions and depictions of half man, half beast, we, this is actually in the Bible. Um, and uh, genetic alteration is in the Bible. Let's understand uh, all of this. Genesis 6 is the sons of God coming on the daughters of men, and so we can see there is alteration genetically. There is creation, and this is a logical thing to understand for us.